All right, so Jimmy didn't sign with the Texans, and then Jimmy did sign with the Texans. A lot of people celebrating the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo did not sign with the Texans. The uh, former 49er went to Las Vegas. A lot of people feel that a bullet was dodged there, especially when you saw the money that Las Vegas gave him. And then we had now former 49er Jimmy Ward uh, signing with the Houston Texans. Uh what his role is going to be is uh, to be determined, but there are a lot of reasons why this is a good move uh, for the Texans, for Nick Casario, and for D'Amico Ryans. Uh, it is the locker room number one source for Texans daily digital content. I'm Landry Locker. Subscribe, like, uh, top source for uh, Texans digital content. You can hear me Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 p.m. Central on In the Loop on Sports Radio 610. So Jimmy Ward uh, is coming to the Houston Texans. Uh, a nine-year vet in the NFL. Uh, he has started 106 games or started 79 games, played in 106 games, and he's done a lot of different things. Uh, first round pick uh, early on, if you remember how people talked about Kareem Jackson early on around here, it was kind of the same type of vibe. Uh, he was struggling. Uh, he's played for a lot of coaches, uh, was a safety, went to corner, went back to safety. He's been moved around a lot, but he kind of found his groove uh, lately in San Francisco. Uh, and he's really, really good uh, at lining up in the nickel. Uh, and it earned the respect of a lot of 49ers fans, a lot of media types. He was kind of one of the leaders of that team. I actually played for Jim Harbaugh. Uh, then he played for Jim Tom Sula. Uh, and then he played for Kyle Shanahan. So he's been through a similar um, path of where the Texans are right now, where you have two one and done coaches uh, and then you have a coach come in uh, and hopefully change the culture. Uh, so he's been through that. So so a veteran leader who's done a lot of things. Um, and that's what a lot of coaches want when they move to different spots. It's not like, is this, is Jimmy, is, did the Texans sign anyone in the same stratosphere as Jesse Bates? No. Uh, is Jimmy Ward going to be a quality starter? We'll see. But there's a lot of things he can do, uh, and there's a lot of leadership that he can provide. This is a tangible culture guy. And I know culture guys around here, they kind of get an eye roll because typically it's a guy like Justin Britt who's a little bit washed. Uh, it's a guy like Rex Burkhead, uh, who shouldn't be the number two back on any team. But this is a guy who has value. Uh, he can line up a lot. Versatility is something that he adds. Uh, he can play some free safety. He can play some corner. Um, and I'm sure they'll try to figure out how to use him and Jalen Petrie uh, on the field at the same time. Um, but he's a guy who has been through a lot. He's done a lot of things. Uh, and he's he's going to automatically one of the veteran leaders on that defense. Uh, from a fan's perspective, he's also very interactive. He's been known to go on, go on Instagram live. Um, I know uh, the 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 YouTuber uh, Grant Combe, who we've talked about, uh, he kind of butted heads with Jimmy Ward for a while, uh, and then Jimmy Ward ended up giving him his respect. We'll get to know him a little bit uh, more throughout the uh, throughout the week. Got the live stream tonight too, and we have the 9 p.m. pop ups. Uh, in the locker room if you want to come in be heard uh and, and get your opinion out there uh, but this is a good signing uh nick casario really hasn't made a lot of splashes i don't think that's the way to go about things the right way in free agency um and this is probably the biggest signing that they've had today although they've had hassan ridgeway and they are bringing in a lot of former 49ers which is not uncommon i remember when uh bill parcells uh was going to Dallas and he was trying to change the culture. He brought in some of his old guys and you had like Richie Anderson um, playing running back and Richie was maybe a little bit past his prime, but he was a guy that uh, knew the system uh, and, and he could be a, a voice for the young guys and, and a voice for the coach. So that's kind of what Jimmy Ward is here. Uh, he's an upgrade over what they had. This could probably mean uh, the end for Maybe Tavier Thomas. I don't know how they're going to feel about that because I know Tavier can line up and guard guys in the slot. Jimmy Ward, uh, that's one of his strengths. So keep an eye on that. Uh, but really a solid signing by Nick Casario. You get a veteran. Uh, you get a leader. You get a guy who's gone through all types of experience, and you get that V word that everyone loves, uh, versatility with Jimmy Ward and the fans. You're going to get someone that's going to be very, very entertaining, uh, very interactive, uh, and a guy that you can get – behind so first day of free agency 
pretty active uh, around the league. Texans, no home run moves, uh, but they do bring in Jimmy Ward. I think they've added a couple of starters, actually, that we'll get more in-depth on um, as uh, things go on. Nothing that significantly impacts the draft, uh, but the Jimmy Ward signing, uh, I anticipate a center being signed uh, sooner rather than later, but this is the big one. Jimmy Ward, versatility, experience, um, and someone that D'Amico Ryans can uh, help uh, to instill his culture, battle-tested, uh, and a guy that I know has been through ups and downs in San Francisco. Uh, and as he uh, as he finishes the back end of his career, uh, he's going to be one of those guys that we look to as a uh, as a trendsetter, a culture setter uh, for D'Amico Ryan's and company. And one of the more intriguing things, if we're talking about on the field, how are they going to use him? How is D'Amico Ryan's going to use him, Petrie? Uh, when is he on the field? When is he off the field? Uh, it's to be determined, but Stuff is getting exciting around here. Jimmy Ward, uh, newest member of the Houston Texans. Subscribe, like, comment. Do you like the signing or not? There's a lot of people that got a lot of hot takes on Nick Casario. I guess they want him to be active in free agency and just throw around money. I think this is the right approach. What say you? Uh, at Landry Locker on Twitter, at Landry Locker on Instagram, the Odyssey app, Sports Radio 610, um, 10 to 2 Central, uh, if you want to follow along and ride along when it comes to the Texans. No matter what happens, no matter where Jimmy Ward lines up, no matter what he does, no matter how much of a leader he is, remember, uh, when it comes to this Texans gang, we are all in this together. The live stream coming up at 9 o'clock. We'll react uh, to day one. Got some surprises. Be heard uh, here in the locker room.